From the time of the creation of the Earth, the inner core of it, with the radioactive decay and the impact heat, was hot. This heat creates convection cells through the mantle of the Earth, which rises to the surface and cracks the hard and solidified crust of the Earth, we call it lithosphere, and through these cracks, magma can erupt. Such a thing happens in Iceland, on the land, we can see it, Eurasian plate and North American plate, through these grabbins, this is the hollow that you see in the middle, uh, are separating, and through them, the magma forms and rises and creates lava. Eruption of the volcano, this is what we call it. And uh, this diagram shows that movement, ripping apart of the land, causes downfall of a uh, uh, block of rock, and that creates cracks through the cracks. Magma can uh, rise and melt and create lava. Now this is a different situation. The latest uh, seismogram, depth of the earthquake, shows that we have at the depth of the 5 kilometer and now reducing some earthquake activity. This is the Grindavik. You can see that under the Grindavik itself, we don't have much. But toward the sea now, we have a new situation. Before that, we had it to the north of the Grindavik in the Hagofal and Sundunka. We had eruptions. In November, uh, we had earthquake. Then December, eruption. And January, again, eruption. Through this grabbing that you can see in the middle part and the fault lines, and the horse in the middle, we had cracks in the Grindavik, but no eruption. Magma was not there. This is going to, now going to change, it seems. Off the shore of the Grindavik, in the harbor and toward the ocean, we have the continuation of this horse and graben. This is practically a rift, a rift valley. We can see them through this uh, earthquake uh, diagram that I showed you, the depth of the earth. And we can see that at the depth of the five kilometer, up to now, it was splitting apart. But it seems it's rising now, the earthquakes. With the rising of earthquakes, the magma can rise from the mantle toward near the surface. Eventually, it will erupt, create fissures, we will see. These are under the water. Nothing on the land in the Grindavik itself. The data doesn't show that. But well, we have evidence in the coastline of the uh, Grindavik. One by one, these things are happening. We had the Grindavik system related to uh, Swartzengi erupting now, and we have now in the Kristovik system some activity. Magma probably is rising again. I show you here. Claire Forward is related to that uh, Kristovik volcanic system. And the Grindavik, you can see that. Near the Swartzengi, we don't have Sundunka, we have something. And now off the coast of the Grindavik, in the ocean, we see the rising of the earthquakes, means the magma is rising with it.